Good morning, Project Life interns. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and this is the lesson for today. Let's get started. Remember to try your best, do what you can when you can, and send me your answers via email. For team building today, we have our Project Life teamwork bubble down here. Um, if you guys remember, we created these at the beginning of the year, uh, and we, you guys gave me suggestions on how we should carry about our teamwork throughout the year. They were used time wisely communicate clearly, everyone participate, work together, respect all members, and respect others' ideas. Lisa is a manager at the Project Life Furniture Company. She starts each day with a brief team meeting in which she discusses the goals for the day and any important information. She encourages others to work together, communicate with each other, and maintain focus throughout the workday. Do you guys feel that Lisa, as a manager, follows the Project Life teamwork expectations bubble? Yes or no? All right, these two crazy guys, Jason and Miles, are playing a little uh, forklift surfing at work. What do you guys think would happen if the boss caught them? You guys can give me a couple different answers because it, you know, a couple uh, different outcomes might happen based on the boss. For social communication, we're talking about compliments today. When you give someone, when someone gives you a compliment, thank the person and show them that you appreciate their kind words. There are two things you should not do when someone gives you a compliment. Uh, the first thing you should do not do is brush it off, which is kind of like saying, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, the second thing you should not do is try to inflate the compliment, saying, you know, you're right, or it does look good, I am awesome, that kind of thing. So a lot of times when we get a compliment, we should just kind of say thank you. So each situation contains a compliment. Put a plus or a positive sign by each appropriate comment and a negative by each inappropriate comment. Be ready to explain your choices. Number one, you wear your favorite NFL team sweatshirt to school. One of your friends says, cool sweatshirt, that looks great on you. What do you say? A, oh, I've had this thing forever, I'm tired of it. B, thanks for noticing, it's my favorite. C, it's pretty cool, I don't think anyone else has one like it. Two, you did a PowerPoint presentation for your social studies project. Afterwards, someone in your class says, your PowerPoint was great. You really found some awesome pictures to use. What do you say? A, it would have been better, but the teacher made me take out some stuff. B, I'm glad it's over. It's really boring to work on. Or C, I put a lot of work into it. I'm glad you liked it. Number three, another student's computer is frozen during study hall and the teacher is out of the room. You're able to figure out what is wrong and fix it. The student says, you are really, you really know what you're doing. Thanks for helping me. What do you say? A, I know everything there is to know about computers. B, you're welcome. I'm just glad I was able to fix it for you. Or C, that was easy. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out yourself. And last one, number four. After chorus class, a kid who sits next to you tells you, you've, been really, uh, you've really been singing that last song well. I'm having all kinds of trouble with it, but you sound great. Should you say A, thanks for saying that. I've been practicing a lot at home. B, I don't know what's so hard about it. It's just a song. Or C, you should get your ears checked. I think I sound awful. For financial literacy today, Ashley got a $100 gift card to Best Buy for her birthday. She spent $68.79 on some cell phone accessories. How much money does she have remaining on her gift card? You have A, $21.21, B, $39, C, $31.21, or D, $19.92. For unit six, preparing for employment, uh, I copied a cover letter here uh, and I'll read it for you. Uh, Dear Miss Darcy, I'm writing to express my interest in the editorial assistant position at Wyndham Publishers. I'm a very detail-oriented person, which is important when fact-checking and editing manuscripts for grammatical errors. Grammar and the English language have always been a strong interest of mine, and I have excelled in related courses throughout my education. In addition to being detail-oriented, I am a hard worker and consider myself responsible and dependable. I'm confident that I would be a valued employee at your publishing company. I'm interested in learning more about this position as it seems like a great match for my skill set. I'm enclosing a copy of my resume for your consideration and I'm happy to provide you with references if necessary. Thank you for your time and consideration of my application. Sincerely, Sam Long. Question number one, after we've read the uh, cover letter, who is interested in the job? Question number two, what company is the position at? Number three, give at least two reasons that Sam feels he is a strong candidate. And number four, is this a good cover letter, yes or no? 
Unit seven, maintaining employment. Jim uses a wheelchair for mobility. After two weeks at his new job, Jim realizes that he is having back issues because his de desk is not at the correct height for him. Jim asks his boss to have his desk adjusted to meet his needs. This is a reasonable accommodation under the A, Good Faith Act, B, Americans with Disability Act, C, Mobility Adjustment Act, or D, none of the above. And we've talked about this in class, guys. So I gave you guys some job tips, uh, some key points on the workplace accommodations through ADA or Americans with Disability Act. So I kind of gave up the answer there, but I want you guys to read these. Uh, number one, the Americans with Disabilities Act makes it unlawful for an individual with a disability to be discriminated against on the job. Number two, if you have a disability, you must be able to uh, complete the major duties of the job with or without reasonable accommodations. Number three, accommodations or modifications or strategies that help you do your job to the best of your ability. Number four, under ADA, an employer is required to provide accommodations to employees with disabilities unless it would cause undue hardship to the company. And number five, undue hardship, relating to number four here, means that it would be very difficult for the employer to provide those accommodations because it would be significant, cause significant financial strains for the, the company or it would significantly disrupt the operation or nature of the business. And we've talked about those in class. Uh, for Unit 8, Independent Living, Larry works three days per week. He works four hours per shift. Larry works 12 hours per week. If he makes $10 per hour, he makes $120 in gross pay per week. He pays Uber $8 each way to pick him up and drop him off at work. How much does he pay for transportation each week? What are some ideas you could suggest to Larry to decrease or lower his transportation costs each week? Tough question, but you guys can figure it out. You're going to need to um, say he works or he takes Uber uh, each way. So $8 each way would be $16 per day. It'd be 16 times three. Just remember to stay positive, guys. Think happy thoughts. You guys are doing a great job. I miss you. Please email or text me if you need any help with today's lesson. Have a great day.